Hi everyone, this is Junk from Junk Mods, and today we're going to look at installing, optimizing, and playing Quake 3 Arena on a modded original Xbox. Now, uh, Quake 3 Arena has been out there for about 15 years now, and not surprisingly, it's actually still played quite heavily. Uh, there is a homebrew Linux port of it for the original Xbox, uh, ported by Karcharius originally. I'm not sure as to where it was first uploaded, but just as a disclaimer, I have no association with the hard work that went into creating this homebrew, and I'm simply providing a guide for getting it up and running on your Xbox. Alright, so with that in mind, let's begin. Uh, in order to get the game, you have to follow the link, to the link in the description, uh, download the file, extract and FTP the contents over to your Xbox and then go ahead and uh, launch the default.xbe to run the game. Uh, I went ahead and did it from XBMC but you can do it any way you like. Now this port has online support so if you're connected to the internet with your uh, Xbox you can connect to active servers and play against other people. Uh, so in order to do this you'll have to uh, go ahead and look up which Quake 3 servers are still active online. Uh, your best resource for this is to go to uh, quakeservers.net forward slash quake3 forward slash servers. And uh, I just have a quick still here. Uh, there we are. So we have the URL and uh, this is just what the site looks like on any given day. So if you have a gamepad and nothing else, you don't have a mouse or keyboard plugged into your Xbox with uh, an adapter, you can still put all the IP information in by bringing up the virtual keyboard. Uh, when you get to this server designation screen, you go ahead and press back plus black on your controller. And this is going to bring up the keyboard for you. Uh, once you enter your values in, press A on enter. So as you're entering, entering in the values, use the A button the entire time. Do not press start or else it's going to go ahead and scrap your input. So go ahead and do that. And uh, if your values and your port are set correctly, uh, you should be able to connect to the server. Alright, so if everything went well, uh, this should connect you to uh, the match you chose, and once you choose your team, you're going to be playing a PC game against primarily PC opponents on a console running unsigned homebrew Linux-based code. I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> you'll have your ass handed to you if you don't have a USB adapter for a mouse at the very least, though, as it's very difficult to keep up with the, the fixed rate of um, motion from the thumbstick. Uh, so for my setup, I use the Xbox controller in my left hand uh, for moving with the thumbstick, uh, cycling through the weapons with the back button, and jumping with the left trigger. Um, I don't really take my gameplay seriously, but I do like to be able to aim fairly accurately. Uh, so I go ahead and actually plug a mouse into the second controller port, and the game will pick up on it. And uh, I just use that for aiming and shooting, and it works pretty well. Uh, so I'd recommend that if you have the uh, the option. Uh, it's kind of a neat little uh, thing that the Xbox can do. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thought it'd be neat to go ahead and throw a video together of that. So uh, there you have it, running and playing Quake 3 Arena online with modded original Xbox. I hope that helps out a little bit, and if you have any questions or anything to add, please leave a comment. And as always, thanks for watching.